okay hey guys welcome back to my channel yes today we're going to be doing some makeup but i wanted to do some skin prep so i'm going to go in with my is tree green tea fresh toner to just really tone my face and make prim uh dark spot serum then my cause rx propolis light cream that's basically it for my skincare so guys today i really really wanted to do my makeup i don't know I was in a mood I was at home I'm like what should I do different I need to do something different and there like when I looked I saw makeup and I've had these makeup since last year actually the foundation from Il Maquillage I won this in a hundred dollars uh, coupon giveaway since the pandemic broke out yes and I didn't um, collect it or I didn't order it so I ordered it in November and I got it in December however I still did not do my makeup as you can tell and also this um, the Nika K eyeshadow palettes I got them in the mail in December as a PR package from Nika K. I was supposed to use them in December but I didn't get around that but today I really want to put everything in one video just because I was like yes I have my foundation and everything that I need so here you can see me showing you the two palettes that I received I'm going to be using the spice rum and I'm also going to be using the Il Maquillage foundation and the concealers yes so the concealer is a little bit darker than my skin complexion so this is the reason why I mixed it with the LA girl in fun because I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I like to mix them both so I can get the highlighted effect but not too bright so the concealer is perfect for that all right so I'm just blending in the concealer under my eyes because I went ahead and I used powder to really fill in the sparse areas on my brows I shaved my brows also and I haven't done that in like three months the last time I shaved my brows was in January and that was because I was going to church and I think I also wore makeup January so it's not really fully six months but I didn't really wear wear it wear it just for like maybe a couple minutes like maybe 60 minutes or two hours or something like that all right so as you can see i'm going in with my la girl in fun plus the il maquillage concealer i'm going to put the concealer on screen because i don't quite remember the color of the concealer right at the back of my head but i know that this is literally my foundation shade so i'm just using a um, concealer blending brush to really blend it out i currently don't have any beauty sponge or beauty sponges because i haven't worn makeup so long all the beauty sponges that i have i threw them away <laughs> yes because yeah i'm not gonna chance it with brush you with our brushes you can actually wash them and they're good as new but sponges hell no okay so this is what the foundation is looking like i'm just going to open it and this is in the color 230 i chose this color online or they chose it for me but as you can see in the video later on it is going to be a perfect match let me just allow you to just watch this part and then come back to you okay guys so i went ahead and i turned down the light a bit so that i could really see what the foundation was looking like as i said before a perfect match okay a perfect match the only thing is the concealer was a little bit dark or my concealer on the concealer on my face is a little is a little is a little bit dark a little bit dark <laughs> said the potter just always i come up hey, i love being jamaican it's just so spicy there's something spicy about being jamaican but as i was saying the concealer is a little bit dark it's a little bit dark mm -hmm. it's a little bit dark like i don't know it's just a little bit dark or it doesn't have any yellow undertone or anything like that so it's when i blended it blended in the concealer it's just a little bit too flat for me yeah but the foundation is just perfect like literally i could just use this like as a tinted foundation just add it like lotion to my face 
uh, add a little bit of highlight, a little bit of concealer under the eyes, uh, a little bit of powder on the brows to just shape it up and we could just wrap this like are as it is like this foundation is really nice i like it yeah the only thing that i need to test now is um how long it can be worn without uh irritations or without you getting pimples or in the heat and so forth i would have to test that at separate time but in terms of like application and i was wearing this for like maybe three to four hours yeah just three to four hours i was wearing the foundation like not out maybe just indoors just relaxing and just in or admiring how my skin looks in makeup and so forth yeah so it wasn't really intense like i wasn't going anywhere and so forth so what i like to do whenever i do my brows because i do not like when my brows have that white cast that white thing under it that white thing above it yeah like that look is so cancelled uh that was like 20 20 2002 kind of makeup like today's makeup we're not doing our brows like that you know what i'm saying so i always use my foundation shade to uh conceal above the brows and i take a teeny bit lighter under the eyes so as you can see we're using our um finishing powder this is not black opal let me just say that it is a concoction a mixture of cody airspun with color pop um deep medium uh, medium dark powder yeah i just use a container to mix both of them but i usually use the powder also the invisible oil blocking powder from uh black opal yeah this powder is the black opal um dark finishing powder and i like to use this all over my face with my big sexy fluffy i love this brush i love fluffy brushes guys yes any like brushes that are nice and fluffy and big they just love my face like i had to take a moment for it like a slow mo but i'm just using the finishing powder in dark from black opal mm -hmm. black opal is one of my favorite brands yes and we're just blending that in ensuring that we take off the headband so that the line of um what do you say no demarcation from my hairline to where the i added the foundation i don't want that there so i have to go in with a bronzer and this is from the nyx love contours all palette and we are just going to contour likewise bronze i'm going to fill in the hairline so it's not obvious that line is not obvious obvious yeah so that's what we're doing and we're just going to be blending okay so just blend with me mm -hmm. and i'll be right back yes in with eyeshadows okay and we're going to be using this orange shadow from the spiced um the spiced rum yeah that's the name spice rum spice some spice this palette that is called spice from the uh nika k uh palettes so you have one that is uh, supposed to be some berry berry guys i don't remember the name but the one that says spice Mm -hmm. so this is a spice palette and i'm using this orange i wanted to do a neutral look or a natural look with some neutral shades okay in my head i was like okay i'm going to use this orange and then i'm going to do um maybe a dark liner just a little dark liner and lashes like in my mind 
but when I saw the palette I was like uh -uh, I have to use like the glitters in the palette so as you can see we're just blending the the shadow as a transition shade now let's look into this gold or orange glitter this is pressed glitter when I touched it I was like um yes i wasn't really expecting it to be that good or that nice or that sparkly but it is and it's very very effective and i had little or no to no fallout basically so i just used my little finger yes and i was looking at it and i started to apply it and i was really really shocked at how it applied flawlessly I was really really shocked. Let me just pause this part so you can hear me talking to my sister. So yes guys, I was just telling Anaki, my sister, if you haven't subscribed to her channel, go over to Anaki Williams and subscribe. I was just telling her like, Anna, this look good, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I was just telling her how much it looked really nice. So I'm going in with this darker or deeper orange. Yeah, a lot of orange shades. This is a deeper orange shade right below the glitter. And I'm just going to use that at the outer part of my eye, my high, my high. Mm -hmm. the outer part of my eyes, just to or my eye, just to ensure that it is it has depth, and uh, yeah, looks nice, pretty much. And we're just blending as you can see. Now we're gonna go in with this iridescent um, shimmer duo chromey color it looks white but it has this like greenish blue purpley shift to it yes yeah, so i wanted to do something at the inner corners i'm like i don't know what i'm doing guys i have no idea what i was doing at the time but it turned out good mm -hmm. yeah it turned out good i haven't done makeup in so long like seriously i haven't done makeup like real makeup in like six months guys and uh, i was a little nervous doing my makeup now because i'm like what if it doesn't turn out good <laughs> i'm like jody shut up like it has to turn out good because you know i guess all of the creativity is just going to be stored up in one place so or it has been stored for so long so it should be like refreshing so i think yeah and i didn't really do much to be honest this is like so easy like anybody can do this anybody can do this so i just added my mascara from my maybelline colossal volume um express uh mascara i was just looking at my lashes still short they haven't grown this they're, they're let me see my lashes are thick but they are not long they're thick for eyelashes but they're not long so i need to i need to figure out how i can actually grow them out yeah so everything anywhere on my face that has hair for example my eyes and my um hair is a struggle but around the mouth in the nose on the legs on the arms and other places the hair just won't stop growing you know what i'm saying i wish it the hair on my skin grew where it matters for example on my head on my eyebrows like well brows i have brows i have a lot of brows or on my my lashes i wish my lash hair grew very long yeah but anyway let me not babble so i'm just using the same contour shade that i use or bronzer per se that i used earlier on i'm just basically contouring my nose but not contouring my nose just adding definition to my nose pretty much and i kind of realized that this contour shade was a little bit too um deep or it's very obvious 
so I'm just trying to blend out what I did because I don't want anything to be obvious I don't want to be it to be obvious that I have a line down my nose yeah I don't like that look so I'm going in with my yellow powder just because as I said my concealer was not too um, bright it 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 was flat in a sense maybe because i used a lot more of the il maquillage the natural color which is similar to mine and a little bit of the fawn from la girl should have used a little bit more of the fawn since the uh, concealer was so dark or my shade actually so i'm just using the yellow powder now to add some definition to my face so or some light so i can be bright in certain areas you know and contoured in certain areas but it's not going to be like crazy guys because i don't like that dramatic dramatic over the top look and as you can see going back in with my fluffy brush now to kind of push everything into the skin so it's nice and it's blended and it looks good you know what i'm saying so right now guys i'm just laying down because my back is hurting but anyway Oh gosh, I love this brush. I love this brush so much. Alright, you hear what guys? I'm I'm gonna shut up and just play some music because I don't want to be talking too much. Because we're just going to be blending. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see, we're gonna add Highlighter, and this is my makeup revolution vivid baked bronzer in rock on world like it has been doing it it's time it's broken like maybe ten to a thousand times but i just press it back together with alcohol so this is my celine fan brush guys these brush set from celine are my all-time favorite so can you see how it applies highlighter very very subtle very nice and this is the type of highlighter i like nothing too dramatic just subtle and uh, like a glow from within kind of like highlight and i don't like to take the highlighter down my nose because i don't like that rudolph the red nose reindeer type of look plus my nose has a plump when you go to the tip so i don't like when it's too pointy and highlighted so i just like to take it down my nose bridge so not really down my nose bridge, just where um my brows and my eyes meet just so that it can be highlighted and i'm going in with setting spray guys why because my skin because i have been taking care of my skin my skin is not or my t-zone has not been so oily yeah like literally it hasn't been like oily so i have to like set my face so that i can bring back moisture especially around my mouth so as you can see the same thing or powder that we use to do our brows or to fill in our brows that's what i'm using to line my lips because i couldn't find any pencil because i'm telling you i haven't done my makeup in six months <laughs> so maybe the pencils they needed to sharpen and so forth uh, I'm going in with Nika K 24 karat gold uh, gloss. I love Nika K's their gloss. I love the packaging and I love the gloss itself. It's very hydrating. Okay? Very hydrating. It's a type of gloss when you apply it to your lip. If you apply it like in the night and wake up your lips, you wake up to soft lips and then the lip gloss is actually still there yeah so what i like to do with the lip gloss when i line my lips i like to like press it at the what do you say you now at the borders or the vermilion borders of my lips i like to press it in and then you know ensure that it is nice and blended so as you can see i'm adding more powder because my face felt a little bit dry as i said before my skin is getting like not okay guys so as you can see this is the finished look mm -hmm. this is how you can just rock it simply without any lashes but i'm just gonna go in with some dramatic lashes so be prepared for that so in three two one yes okay guys so this is the finished 
look and I am loving it I'm loving it so much and you know I'm just always like gagging when it comes to these dramatic lashes yeah so you can wrap this look natural or with natural lashes or no lashes or you could wrap them with some dramatic lashes and I don't know whenever I wear dramatic lashes like these I don't I just think that they pull the look together and they it looks as though I'm actually wearing a glam down look and I love it I love it I love these lashes I love how everything really turned out and I'm so happy that I actually got up and did my makeup cuz if we're doing the makeup if I'm actually doing my makeup I want to do like if I have like I haven't done my makeup in a while if I'm going to actually do it I want it to be like mm -hmm, something that I can remember mm -hmm. and I feel like with lashes they always give you something to remember pretty much so yeah this is it pretty natural neutral face and glittery eyes this palette is the bomb the foundation it is a perfect match for me it is a very perfect match for me the concealer I think I I want to go a little bit lighter with the concealer because the concealer that I have now it's not gonna work it's not gonna cut it it's just that that's almost my foundation color but the concealer I definitely would want something a little bit lighter from Il Maquillage so I think I would order something lighter but I guess the time when I ordered it they didn't have anything lighter so this is the reason why I went ahead with that color but if I'm gonna get another one I'm going to get something a little bit um, darker but the shade matching thingy that they have it's it's legit like I literally found my perfect match to be honest and when I was applying it I was thinking to myself maybe I don't want to go in with any powder and so forth but I went in with a little powder just so that you can actually set the makeup and I think I could do with a little setting spray I, did, I use some setting, setting spray but I think I could do it with a little more but overall this is a very nice look and I like it really and truly love it and I love everything yeah and uh, stay tuned for my next makeup video it's going to be uh, neutral like not natural like almost no makeup no make no makeup makeup the last time I did no makeup makeup I still went in with a little bit of extra lashes and stuff like that Ma mainly because whenever I do makeup I take so long to do it so I, I kind of miss it so I just want to go ham but yeah yeah, sis.